Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are Chase and Malia, and today we get to do something special. This is a sponsored video by yes. Christine. Thank you so much, Christine. And we have been, we're still actually a little bit sick. Yes. Um, and, and Christine has been so patient and mm. kind and wonderful because not only have we been sick, our kids have been sick. Yes. Everybody around us is sick. It's crazy. Um, but we're so happy to be here because it's another 17. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you so guys exciting. Know. So exciting. You know. We're excited. Um, you know, we've gotten a lot of comments about mm. people who don't want us to talk about DK. Okay. And um, I think that's weird. You know, we're going to try to talk about everybody, but uh, we're just what we're really talking about is singing. And that happens to be about DK. That's all it is, you know? guys. Like, it's yeah. not um, I think that the preference to talk about DK all the time is literally because he is such a great example of our vocal philosophy and the things that we think are important and helpful for you guys to start singing and learning to sing. Cause that's ultimately preference as well. A lot totally. of people put, you know, sound over, <clears throat> um, over everything. And, yeah. and we're, we're the types of people who put kind of vocal health and mm. efficiency, you know, we want things to sound good, of course, but like if you're doing it in a way that is good, you know, in a holistic way, right. that's, that's really what we, you know, really like and totally. what we look for all the time. And so, and you know, DK just shows us that. So it's not Absolutely. really about DK. It's more about just really, his, really, really, his good, really good singing. So but, but we're really excited to see the whole group today and uh, let's get started. Yeah. What is the song today that we're uh, reacting to? Okay. Today we are reacting to All My Love. Mm. And it's acoustic. The acoustic version. Our favorite Can't types wait. of performances. Let's go. So exciting. That's one of the things I was going to say. I was also going to say that it's really hard to stop. Yeah, like I know. It is, it is a jam. Yeah. It is a really good song. Um, do you want to go back to any specific parts? Um, I think just before where we were, unless you wanted to go earlier than that. Before where we so were. So just like maybe back like 20 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But what? I'm gonna talk about DK. You already? No, I won't. All I'm. Right. I'm just gonna talk. Just because you just stopped there. No. Well, um, I stopped there because I actually have things to say that aren't about DK. Well, I want to talk about that melody. Na 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 na. That's very, very difficult. Oh, yeah. And like, I know that a lot of like popular up meat, upbeat, up meat, upbeat music has like um, exciting melodies. And like, you know, it, it's just kind of like, um, oh, it's hard to explain. It's 
good listening, but then when you've tried, have you ever tried to sing it? Mm -hmm. It's actually quite difficult. Oh, yeah. And that is what makes a lot of these people and artists even more impressive is that they make it sound not difficult. Mm -hmm. And what does that take? That takes so much practice and effort. Like, I think that this is just a great example for all of them at how they're very, very good at, um, at what they do, which mm -hmm. is ultimately being performance artists, which includes singing, rapping, dancing, all those things. But <clears throat> This is a very small part of a big thing, which is a small part of a song, a small part of all they do. And it has excellence. Like yeah. it is so good. It mm -hmm. is, it is so clean and so clear and so like simple, but not easy. Yeah. We talk about that a lot where, um, the difference between somebody who's good and somebody who is mm. great or, you know, the, some of the best in the world yeah. at what they're doing is, a lot of little things yeah. is, is, is consistency. It is, um, them, you know, doing everything so cleanly yeah. and so, uh, in such a way that it's like, it seems effortless. It all that seems kind of stuff. Effortless. I, I really like, uh, what you were saying about the melody. Cause that's what I was thinking. What I'm, what I was thinking about was how, what, are the little things that they're doing mm -hmm. that make it so interesting and so cool to watch. And I, I think part of it is the, um, that phrasing. Totally. Right. They move all the way through it. And, and I Making think it one. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you are a singer, if you know singers, um, most singers really like to sing big, slow songs, mm. just the big, slow ballads and all that kind of stuff. Because it's kind of easier and it's harder, harder in its own way, but it's it's easier. And when you yeah. have a song that pushes, that mm. is like kind of more upbeat, yep. it is um, you have to be more active in it. But then you also have to continue to sing well. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people do, myself included, is I kind of just get after it. And right. I don't really worry about not that I'm not worrying. I don't really focus on how I'm sounding mm. all the time or um, making it as clean and nice as, as it is right here. And so this yeah. is like, that's another level of what they're doing. I think is not only is it a quicker song, yeah, it's still light. They can't just like mm, yell it. It's no. not like kind of rocky. It's, it's light. It's, it's light. sweet, but it's quick. Yeah. And it also has difficult melodic passages, yeah. passages. So if I were trying to sing this or approach this, I would really focus on my phrasing, mm. focus on sending my ear all the way through to the end. Yep. Um, that one part, the, la, 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 mm. la, la, la. I know. So uh, I'll go back a little bit. hard it is really tough to do that mm -hmm. and um and i think that it's to, it's even harder to still make it sound sweet right to still make it sound it not like you're really pushing it really right. after it and i think that the thing that that really requires to do well <sighs> is have good uh use of your air mm -hmm. because when you go from like kind of a faster mo melodic line to maybe a a more spread out one, like side by side. Um, I think that in order to have good intonation and good, you know, resonance, you have to have really good airflow, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you were saying. The phrasing, the phrasing, yeah. using it all the way to the end of that phrase is what is going to make that sound so clean. Like yep. it just sounds so clean yep. and not difficult. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and I just think, um, you know, with, with longer, with the, slow long phrases like the mm. ballads and things that we're talking about there is um there are you have time to like pick your vowel mm. and then you stay on the same vowel for a, for a long time with a song like this you're constantly changing vowels so you have to pick a lot more yeah. you have to be you have to make four times as many decisions That's on what vowels you're doing um and then immediately like it's like hopscotch yeah. or, you know, just j jump rope where you're totally. hopping from, from vowel to vowel and you got to be really clean. And these, yeah. these guys are just nailing it. That's so interesting. Yeah. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I just love the song. DK's honestly. going to start singing next. <laughs> so. I can do everything for you. 
This lower section mm-hmm. here is a, a really good example of kind of a vocal effect that you can use, oh, as yeah. well as just having a lot of breath in, oh, a, in, a, sure. in a good way. Yeah. Let's listen to it. <laughs> and I just want to talk about that because it's such a oh, yeah. Oh, oh. And if you were singing without a microphone, that would not be what we call an efficient sound. Right. But because we do often, you know, get to use microphones and amplification, they're tools. And Absolutely. you can now use your voice in different ways and have different effects. You're yeah. not necessarily worried about being efficient like right. we talk about all the time. And, you know, we do talk about being efficient all the time, mostly because that's what a lot of people lack. People mm-hmm. don't lack the vocal effects, the mm-hmm. kind of artistry side. Nope. Um, people, What people do get in trouble with is losing their voice and all that kind of stuff. So yep. that's kind of what why we talk about it so much. Right. But in our own singing, mm-hmm. we sacrifice the efficient sound that we talk about Absolutely. all the time because something might need a feel, a vibe, mm-hmm. uh, an intention. You know, we're trying to put our own vocal effects on that match the piece of music that we're trying to sing. Yeah. Well, and I think that it's something that we're not saying that this is, we're not saying that we tell people like of 17 all the yeah. time to do this. Yeah. We're talking about, it's, it's highly likely that if you're a singer, an amateur singer, um, or even a semi-professional singer, meaning you'd sing, you know, gigs or whatever. Like, let's say you're just trying to sing and it's not like at this high level, Mm -hmm. likely we've noticed a lot of people struggle with the efficiency thing of it, because you have to consider these people who have, um, whole teams of people helping them make their thing happen. Um, that is a slight advantage to those of us that don't Mm -hmm. meaning you have to take care of every single part of you or you can't do it. Mm -hmm. There's no one reminding you to take care of your voice. There's no one reminding you that this instrument is a part of our body. That's what we're here for. We're trying to remind you that this instrument is a part of our body. We've learned this the hard way by Mm -hmm. wearing our voice out, um, in ways we didn't even realize we could. And so I think that's what we're saying too, is like, you can make those choices that kind of compromise maybe a little bit sure. for the sake of an effect, but just know what that means for you in your singing yeah. experience. And I always tell people that's the <clears throat> exception, yeah. not the rule. Like your baseline mm. should hopefully be a very nice, productive, efficient sound totally. that you then get to tailor and change and add style and add flair and add the things you want to add rather than being stuck. And this right. is the only way I know how to do it. Right. I can do everything for you. I gotta talk about song one. I know I, we just stopped, but I gotta talk about song one. That is such an awesome um, moment right there. Mm-hmm. And he's, he does it so effortlessly, flawless. Let's watch it again. And I wanna break it down. I can do everything for you. And it's in English. I can't do everything for you. For, for, everybody sings for, yeah. for, everybody. It'd be this, easy. That's me. Yeah. Um, sings for, but he goes, I do everything for you. It is so good. Yeah. And he flips um, just seamlessly. Yeah. He flips up there. It, it, uh, the, it's easy to flip into your falsetto or head mm. voice. Um, but it's really hard to make that sound the same as mm. when you were just singing before it, right? Yeah. So if it, pe- people can really easily tell when you flip. Absolutely. Not there. No. And it, it like, obviously you can tell that he's singing higher, yeah. but you can't tell the that the resonance has changed at oh, all. Yeah. It is the same um, tone. I mean, resonance is the best word. And that just like means... tone too, though, because yeah. tone is... is, is is an interesting concept. In Absolutely. Itself, yeah. When it just doesn't lose any of its depth, mm-hmm. which can happen and you can do on purpose again for an effect. But I think that's what is extra impressive about that little line yeah. is that he didn't. Yeah. And he doesn't. Yeah. And, and that's really cool. And I think how you do that is literally just flipping back and forth. I've, I've done this in other, um, um, Oh, in other videos. Yeah. But if you want to get better at that, we're still a little sick, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I know, I know you guys aren't here to hear me sing, but if you want a, um, a little vocal exercise that'll help you flip and have, mm. and maintain yeah. that, that same level of resonance, you just flip up and flip down. You go, Oh, 
And you, and the faster you can do that and the easier you can do that, the better. The yeah. more you train that, the easier it's going to be to access it. And then you can kind of start tailoring it. One thing I, I do a lot is I immediately go back when I, mm. when I sing falsetto. But if I go, oh, that's back versus, oh, mm. which has a little bit more of the same kind of characteristics. And these exercises and stuff like that help you experience before you apply to a song Mm -hmm. or apply it to, um, something specific. Like that's, what's cool about vocal exercises and warmups is it's not some like rigid, like thing you have to do. It's legitimately an opportunity for you to understand your voice better. Just use it. Exactly. And use it. And then you can grow from there. So if you're interested in more kind of little lessons, uh, we actually Mm -hmm. have a couple of bite-sized chunks of our favorite exercises. They're only five bucks um, at our website. So if you want to kind of dive into singing a little bit more, uh, check them out. Yeah. Let's keep going. Sorry. Sorry. I got to talk about Woozy a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, we all know that I love Woozy. You do. And I, I have admittedly been not always so mm. sure of his voice, you know, mm-hmm. with, with Sangwon and, and DK, it's, it's, you know, it's hard to get my attention. I'll, ad, I'll admit yeah. that. Um, but, uh, one thing that I think when when you hear Woozy a little bit mm. more acoustically, mm. like in those acoustic yeah. sessions and the and the and the, um, the uh, killing voice and things like right. that, um, it can sound a little bit nasal and like kind of kind of you know thin tiny I guess or, or tiny yeah, yeah, yeah tiny and small, um, but sometimes those are the best voices to record totally and this is not like a oh it's all studio magic thing Mm -hmm. it's literally just these are our instruments and some instruments are are you can do more things with than others like something that i actually struggle with is you know how to get my voice to sound just like woozies Mm. you know um in a a recording setting And, and having that that really kind of bright um resonant you know, and, really and what we would call small, yeah. um, <clears throat> is, is sometimes fits in a mix so well, especially yeah. in this type of music and in pop music and mm-hmm. elect, kind of electronic music. Um, it is such a wonderful voice to record because yeah. you can do a lot of stuff with it. So if you feel like your voice is, mm. is, um, you know, maybe not so great acoustically, try, try recording it, getting mm-hmm. with somebody who knows what they're doing and, and, uh, and seeing what happens then, you know, cause Absolutely. those, those kinds of that kind of resonance really fits in a mix. I would agree with well. that. I would totally agree with that. His voice is so interesting. Can we listen to it one more time? Of course. I also I can I listen to it like directly after Woozy because yeah. I feel like I would originally I think they have very similar voices, but I think they have very different voices, but they do the same thing. Does that make sense? Like they're both singing in like a higher kind of smaller resonance. Um, but I feel like they accomplish different things. Let's listen to hmm. it. Okay, so I feel like the difference between their voices is I feel like Woozy has a little bit more air that you can hear while he is singing, and it adds, like, a light, I mean, breathy, airy, obviously, is what it would add, but it also adds, like, this light nature to it versus... I think his name is The Eight, or he goes by The Eight. Um, His voice is still relatively tight, like, in, in like, resonance. Like, it's not super big, Mm. but I think that it has a fullness, like, it almost has, like, it has no air I don't hear coming out. It has a very um, piercing resonance, but it's not, like... um, I don't know. Unpleasant. Yeah, and and yeah, not unpleasant in any way. I think it's just really like I, I always want to use the word efficient because that's always how I I qualify and um, mm-hmm. singing. That's what I think I'm listening for constantly. Mm-hmm. Is like, how does the sound 
get to me? Does the sound get to me efficiently or is there air when the sound is getting to me? Like that, that's stuff that I'm listening for. And I feel like because he has the, the absence of that hiss that I feel Mm. like a lot of breathy tones have, but he still has a very light quality to his voice and his tone. Yeah. I think, Mm. um, I think I, I think I understand what you, what you're meaning. Yeah. Like it's, um, it's, Let's listen to him back to back again. Because one thing I think that I hear with with Woozy Mm -hmm. is this idea that he kind of sings through everything. He's singing through things. Okay. That is, and and that's just a phrasing thing. No, totally. But I think their voices are similar. Yeah. um, And I think that that is the main difference. Also, Mm -hmm. I would say that Woozy's like probably his range is is, a little bit higher, higher and and, and wider. Um, Yeah. But. but Woozy really just sings through yeah. lots of stuff. Um, and I think, but I, I like the eight, but this is a, this is an interesting kind mm-hmm. of comparison because his, the eights um, melodic line yeah. is a little bit more simple. It yeah, doesn't move around as much, true. but let's listen to him back to back again. I think I think you're right. I hear I definitely hear a lot of air there, mm-hmm. but then he turns it on, and yeah. this is what we mean by kind of vocal effects. Mm. Um, he kind of he he kind of really turns it on and yeah. has that full sound. So, ah, mm-hmm. and then, ah, yeah. yeah. He just sounds like he's talking. Yeah. That actually sounds really sweet. It too. sounds just really very sweet. nice. Yeah. And it's interesting. Again, it's not like the most exciting line in the song, but it sounds very like very natural. Yeah. And this is also what we mean by all of these things being cumulative. Mm. So like that line not being the most exciting line in the right. world, but it's still sounding absolutely amazing. Right. Um, sweet and nice and full yeah. and, and, and just appropriate, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. All of that makes is what makes this an amazing Absolutely. kind of song and, and performance and group yeah yeah <laughs> Starting up on that high note. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Can we go back really quick? Sure. And of course, listen to DK. Uh, I just want to, I want you guys to listen to the, the vowel that he uses on the word baby. Mmm. Mmm. I want my baby. Baby, baby, I want my baby. It's like so American in like the best way. Like, I feel like we and I mean American in that it's very like. Forwardly, nasally kind of harsh. But, like, yeah, it's not a tall vowel. That is but not I, a tall vowel. It's not a tall vowel, but that's what I think. I feel like American English is the tall. Is ba- I guess I'm just baby. thinking about Justin Bieber. Baby, yeah. baby, and this is baby, why I, th- I think singing, singing makes yeah. it different, right? Singing That's true. makes it, singing makes it to where you have to go in my baby. Oh, okay, listen to one last time. And absolutely, then, absolutely. Sorry, I'm sorry, just blew out the I mic. I think you might have Exciting. blown out the mic. My okay. goodness. No, 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 My baby, mm. it's it's baby. baby. But this is also, I would say, something that every single one of them does absolutely well. Is they keep a lot of it forward. Some more than others, for sure. But like Woozy, Sungwon, and yeah. DK, I, I would say are master classes mm. in 
keeping that vowel really nice and forward, um, singing through all your phrases. Uh, That's at, a really good and, example and, of that. And using your your mm-hmm. voice as as you know with different effects on mm-hmm. it. If you're going for something different, it's uh, it's a really good time. I mean, just think about that line. Na, 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 na. That's so like you have to go through that phrase. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you'll like run out of energy and then they keep going from there. And it's so good. So good. for you <clears throat> right now it is yeah na, 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 na. that's crazy it's for me right now for na, sure na, 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 it would be na, na, na. i think that's crazy i could spend some time with it and make mm-hmm. it and make it better but dang can you listen to that one more time 100 percent. so good I, it was so good i also like when they harmonize it, it was so good. oh yeah it was killer Beautiful. That's I, some of the best singing oh I've ever gosh. heard you. And, and one of the things I absolutely love about Sungwon is that I I would say DK is the voice I want mm. because it's clear and full and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think Sungwon has a natural kind of breathiness and not, yeah. not so much clarity to his voice, which is what I have. Cool. Right? And so it's – it's cool. um, I think it's always interesting and I just – I don't know. I really love that he just kind of leans into how he sounds mm. and he and he yeah. kills it. Totally. So 100%. Good. Yeah. Um and so I just I really love that. And I and I kind of admire that he's you know, he just gets after it. And yeah. I think he he's one of the more aggressive singers, I would say. I would agree. Um that even even in the K pop genre yeah, that we've heard that we've seen, kind yeah. of across the board, yeah. I would say he's one of the more aggressive yeah. um singers. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And I just I'm I'm I love here it. for it. I'm yeah. here for it. Here for it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. Wow. Are they coming to America? Bummer. No events happening. Dang it. Well, I one of the things that I just always <clears throat> take away from this is is that a lot of different voices together, and I think we've said this before, mm-hmm. you don't want 13 people no. who sound the exact same. No, you don't. You really don't. You don't. Especially for this kind of music, but Absolutely. like really in general. You really you don't. don't. You don't want 17 people that sound the exact same. You want, seven, or sorry, 13 people. You don't right. want 13 people sound the exact same. You want 13 people who sound different. You don't want four people that sound the you same. You don't probably don't want four people. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I, 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 I just want to thank you mm. to Christine because yes. I, I don't know if I would have found this one. I, I, we've seen parts of this one. We, yeah. we, you know, it's, it's, it's on our Floating radar for, yeah. for different things to, to talk about 17 with, but, um, it's just an awesome one is it's an awesome song, but two, I just, mm. every time I watch 17, I kind of get a little bit deeper, you know, yeah. I, I learn a little bit more. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, and, and at the same time, I'm, I'm listening to an awesome song. Absolutely. So it's things like that, that I just really appreciate. And I don't think I would find on my own. Well, and I think that they're a great, um, teaching tool for, um, us to kind of explore all of the different things about singing. Like we talk about a lot on this channel and I think that 17, the reason why that set, the reason why 17 and K-pop groups in general keep coming back up is because it's a great way to showcase, 
how our instruments are different, how you can do different things and how it can all lead to success. And it's a choice for you guys, you know, and we all have different things to offer. And I think that's just really cool to see and break down kind of, um, with such high talent, you know? Well, and I think also it shows that, a bunch of people who have worked really hard mm, because yeah. you know there are audition you know yep. i'm learning more about i've even actually had a student who uh was was auditioning for something and you know these groups are assembled of people who are have gotten to where they've gotten because yep. they've worked really hard Absolutely. for it so you know that's why they're that good and yep. a lot of people think that you know you're just born with it right. and you know may, there might be like a little bit of that you might be you know but you actually, you, you might be born with it, but you still have to work on it. You Definitely. still have to develop it. You still have to get better at it and spend time with the instrument. Definitely. So that's one of the things I really love about Me uh, too. K-pop in general, but Me too. specifically 17. Also, the songs are pretty much always also a bop. S- songs are the bop. Yeah, it's such so. a good time. But we hope that you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed watching it, just like we enjoy learning and observing and commenting on everything singing, but especially 17. You know we love them. Love so if it. this happened to be your first time on our channel we hope you liked this and make sure you check out another video we've reacted to 17 many times before other groups so we hope that you guys find something you enjoy thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time